Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with some new, mostly new, um, drugstore products. So I have a bag full of crap to show you guys. Like I need any more shit, right? So anyway, I'm just gonna take everything out of the bag and show you guys, so one second. So I'm gonna start off with my Dollar Tree finds. Gotta love some Dollar Tree, okay? So the first thing I got was the e.l.f. Glitter Primer. And I really have been wanting to try out some more glittery looks and stuff like that. And also just something to have in case I do glittery looks. So yeah, got that whole dollar. So I also found some Milani Shadow Eyes. These are their pencils. They are amazing. I got the black one and the Sand Dunes, which is a gorgeous, like, champagne gold color. Absolutely love the fact that they were a dollar and not six dollars, so that's a plus. So there was a lot of stuff that I found at my Walgreens. I mean, I went crazy posting pictures on my Facebook page, if you guys follow that. If not, that's okay. I'd like you to follow me there, but that's all right. Um, everything I found here was at Walgreens. I didn't go to any other store. Had I gone to any other store, I probably would have found some more stuff and gone crazy. But I think I did pretty good in finding some stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with some Rimmel products that I found and kind of give you my inputs if I've tried them or not. So the first thing I picked up was the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Mascara by Kate Moss and this one is the Volume and Lift and the packaging looks like this. I want to say I used this in a video. I don't even remember. That's how old I am. So when you open it up, it is a massive wand. It's got the waves on it. It is just ridiculously big. Um, and I must say, this is going back to the store. I do not like this mascara. You can't get me to buy this mascara ever again. Um, it stayed wet. I don't know if that makes sense. It stayed wet the whole time. If you are a crybaby, or if you, like me, or if you just tear up, this is not the mascara for you. This is just, I don't even think it comes in waterproof yet, but even if it came in waterproof, I still wouldn't get it because I feel like it would just leak and bleed out and it was, Oh, oh, and you guys, some of you guys know how I feel about my mascaras. And this is just disgusting. I hate it. Um, I, you know, sometimes you get a few flakes here and there. I'm not completely biased to, um, to mascaras that give me a little flaking a little bit. But when I go like this to wipe it off, I don't expect to have like streak marks. I, I look like I got attacked by the brush. It was awful. I did 14 hours with this mascara and it was horrible I kept just having to check myself in the mirror because I don't want to look crazy so I would notice that I had like the streaks like as if you know you know you wipe your face and I would go like that very lightly to just get rid of the flaking from the mascara and the streaks and they were pigmented streaks so that's one thing I have to say it's a black mascara but it was god awful um I didn't even apply it the second time I didn't want to it's not happening. Either I like you or I don't. I don't like you. So I picked up a few more items from Rimmel and I picked up their Newt, Newt, Newt? I picked up their new Provoca Lip 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lip Color. And the first color I picked up was, wow, okay. Okay, <laughs> so the first color I picked up was Kiss Fatal and it is a nice, kind of like a mauve -y I don't know purple I'll show you guys and when you first apply these I actually do a tutorial or like a review a more in-depth review on these I only got two shades and that's about it but when you first apply these it feels as if it's sheer but something happens this is the color right here you do one or two swipes and you kind of feel like it's sheer but you let it settle for a second and you start seeing it like build up a pigment it's almost like it takes your lips and just coats them and it multiplies and then you can apply a second coat because I did because I like my lips pigmented and then you let it sit I let it sit for about a minute and then you go ahead and take the second part of it which is hard to open this is the lock and shine part and as you can see I dirtied the wand up a little bit this stuff feels like a weird gel, but you don't feel like you're putting anything on your lips. So what it does is it removes the stickiness or the sticky feeling from the gloss itself or the lip lacquer or color itself. And it just, I don't know, it just feels weird, but it works. So if you're into those CoverGirl um, 
Outlast stains or whatever, you might like these. I've worn this a few times. I love it. It does not wear off. Like, it'll wear off in the center of my mouth, but even with, like, oil, I ate, like, six slices of pizza one night. It was a long night. Don't judge me. I'm a fatty. We know this. Um, <laughs> and it didn't wear off. I was like, holy crap. Like, I even did a video for uh, some of my friends and showed them that, look, the color is still there. I was shocked. So I really, really love these. Um, so I went back and picked up one more color. And I picked up the color Play With Fire because why not? So this is the color right there. It is a gorgeous more blue but this is a blue based red they have another reddish color but that's more on the orangey tone at least that's what i sensed and i'm glad i picked this one because it is like that perfect red that i wear so loving these recommend that you try these i think these are 6.99 as well as the mascara and uh don't get that damn mascara get these instead so i picked up some more rimmel stuff and oh i was so happy and i found these on accident and these are the Rimmel Show Off Lip Velvets. These are matte. And I'll show you one. This one is Atomic Rose. The only problem I have is to pull them off. You might get product on yourself. So this is like a corally, peachy, nudie color. Corally, peachy, nudie color. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, these apply soft on the lips. They feel exactly like the lip creams from NYX. So if you like those lip creams from NYX these right here the soft matte lip creams they feel very 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 similar so the next color I got I wore the other day at work and it's called meteoric and this is like a berry pinky ready color and that's it right there if you can see there do you see it very pretty um kind of vampy but it just has that tinge of fuchsia pink and fusion there so and the last color i got was burning lava i wore this in my last tutorial and i love it it just it just so pretty so that's burning lava this wasn't a good idea and even like with me using makeup remover it's just not coming off I should have thought this through. Oh wait, I know what I know what to use. So definitely need oil to take this off. Or not, or not, or not. I've had better luck taking Sharpie off my skin than I have this, look at that. They're still. <laughs> so the first thing I picked up at this shopping spree, is it's not uh, makeup related, but it is these elephants. Um, it's a bracelet. I have a couple of these I have uh, owl white owls and I, I think this was like gray or blue elephants I wear these all the time I don't know I like them um, and they're a dollar I know it's kind of kiddish of me but shut up it makes me look not so mean I feel these <laughs> I picked up some Maybelline products there's some new products out there and there's some primers and some concealers out there and I picked up one of the primers and it is the Master Prime by Face Studio Primer um, with SPF 30 and the color is in blur or the color is or whatever this one is blur plus illuminate number 200 and this is like a pinky opal color very opalescent very very opalescent and yeah that's it right there. I love it. It has a marvelous scent to it. So the next thing I picked up from um, Maybelline is the Master Conceal by Face Studio. And this is a camouflaging concealer. And I don't know how I feel about this yet. Because I'm still... Oh wow. I just poured out a crap load. So this is the concealer. I took some out. And as you can see, it covered up my lipstick stains. I'm gonna go ahead and rub it in some more and see if it actually does cover up the lipstick stain. That's it. So there we go. I got the swatches off. Yay me. So I picked up some Milani products and I ended up finding their matte lipsticks. So I picked up three. First color I picked up from the Milani line is the matte naked. Gorgeous. It is a perfect pinky nude right up my alley. They had a lighter one which I might get. I don't know. But anyway, the next color I got was Matte Glam, and it looks very similar to Heroin. These don't have the traditional watermelon scent that um, the Milani, the original Milani lips have. These have like the Mac Vanilla scent, so that's always nice. And this is the color right there. It's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So if you like colors like Heroin and those nice purples, there you go. 
And the last color I got was Matte Confident. Of course, y'all know, Nude Reds. This is an outstanding red. I absolutely love it. What wouldn't I love? <laughs> the last thing I picked up from Milani is the Coral Cove Powder Blush. And I have a blush already with this rose. And as you can see, it's a coral, coral, coral shade. I'm going to swatch this under the lipsticks. It's kind of powdery, but I know the consistency of these blushes. That is beautiful, and I cannot wait to try that. So I ended up finding some new Wet n Wild products, and I found the Wet n Wild Fergie Come Correct Concealer. And this concealer, I don't know what to say about this. I've used it a few times. It is very, very, very thick. It does give you a decent coverage. The color I got was, which one did I get? Um, medium golden. So I actually have been using it to spot correct in a sense. So I've been liking it so far. It's very sticky. So you have to set it. Um, and this was, I think, $5, $4.99. Of course, everyone's doing mattes and they have their own matte collection. These are their matte velvets, the velvet matte lip colors, of course, from the Fergie line. And I picked up mostly, they're all like naked colors. So the first color I picked up was pink, pinky candy. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. Now these are very, very soft. They're not pigmented like that to the point that I would want them to be, but these are nice for like everyday wear. The next color I got was Fashion Darling. So this is the pinky, pinky candy right there. And this is Fashion Darling, which is one of my favorites. It's more of the terracotta brownie color. So the next color is Plum Genou, Plum Genou, swatch that right under it, and that's it right there. This is a really pretty shade as well, but they go on pretty sheer, like I don't know, I have to build them up. So my favorite one is Timeless Chick, and it is that 90s lip color, it's perfect. I've worn this a few times, as you can see it's kind of worn already. Um, these you actually roll up rather than sharpen. And I love the packaging. It feels very similar to that NARS matte packaging. So they're gorgeous. Um, those were $3.49. I picked up. I'm so excited because it is amazing. And it is the Fergie Center Stage Collection Photo Focus Studio Eyeshadow Palette. And this one is in Milano Collections. As you can see there. So this comes with 10 shades. And it also comes with a brush. Now this brush is actually soft. And I can work with this brush. So I've um, actually used it the other day to blend one of the eyeshadows. And it works really, really nice. So these are the colors right here. I have loved and used it. I'm going to swipe one of these. As you can see, I'm only doing soft strokes. Look at that pigmentation, guys. Look at that pigmentation. For drugstore eyeshadows, Wet n Wild has always done it right most of the time. These are amazing. I'm going to swatch this black right here. Two swipes, three swipes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Goes on the eyes beautifully. I did a couple looks with this this week. One of my favorite shades is this one and this one. Gorgeousness. Of course, I have it swatched with the black. <laughs> but this is amazing. This palette is $7.99. This had a dollar off coupon attached to it, so I got it for $6.99. It is still a great, great palette to get. They come, they came with another one which had more purpley shades, and I kind of wish I would have gotten that too. So if I see it in stores, I will pick it up just to add to my collection. But this is a fantastic palette. So much so that I'm actually considering getting a second one just to put in my kit. It reminds me of the Naked palette um, mixed with some of the Naked 2 shadows. So I actually like this very, very much. Um, and this is the one thing I recommend the most from the Fergie line that I have tried. So the last thing I picked up from the Wet n Wild collection was this blush right here. This is an around the clock blush. It says 10 hours on the back of this. And it's called Brush with Destiny. And it is like a pinky peachy color absolutely gorgeous don't mind that swatch and I don't know I get a nice 
pinky heel out of this I wore this the other day it, it does have some glitter flex to it which I'm not keen to but they blend it out really nicely and I was able to wear it without feeling like the glitter was all over my face so the glitter blends really nicely with this product I just wish it didn't have it um they have two other shades one is a really really bright pink and the other one's more of a coral set blush um and now that I know that the pigmentation is really nice, of course, um, I'm going, I might pick up one more. So I don't know yet. We'll see if they're still in the store. So I don't know if these are going to be permanent lines. It just says new. It doesn't say limited edition or anything like this. But I hope that it is not because I've seen so many clearances on Wet n Wild products. So I hope that this is on the permanent line. So that is pretty much it. Another massive haul. But these are all the new products that I found at the drugstore. And I kind of, you know, went a little crazy. But I picked out products that I know I will use. So I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.